Welcome to Netlinked Weekly. This week's episode, I have done zero prep. I haven't even seen this slide deck yet. Slick prepared it himself, and our special guest is going to be the new addition to our team, Diesel. So let's get started with our usual Hunt for Linus in the weekly sale banner, which is the NCIX's Fall into Savings event. Oh my goodness, it's easy this week. <sighs> You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to bring Tom onto the show next week so that we can all rip into him about how easy it is. I know I never pointed out, but it's like right there. It's not... <sighs> he really phoned it in this week, but we didn't phone in the Fall Into Savings event. It has a $4.99 shipping deal, so that's any order over $50 and under £100. You pay 5 bucks for your shipping, which for our American viewers in Canada is a pretty good deal. I know you guys are used to your free shipping, but come on, we have one-tenth as many people, and the country's like way bigger. You know what, before we get into our top deals, actually, let's bring on our special guest, Diesel. So Diesel is uh, the newest addition to our team. Tell us, um, what brings you here? I am a big fan of your work and I wanted to help. <laughs> Dude, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Why don't, you tell us, why don't you tell us what you're studying right now? He's an intern, by the way, Diesel the intern. So tell us, tell us what you're going to do. I'm at BCIT in the broadcast television program, and I needed to fulfill my internship requirements. So basically, you're going to have me sign a piece of paper that says you were here helping me. Yes. That is exactly what is going to happen. <laughs> All right. So how long are you going to be a member of our team here? Uh, probably for the next few weeks, maybe with a break in October. And what is your... Here, okay, this is a good one. What do you view as your primary contribution to our little operation here? I want to think that I make everything a bit more professional. Yeah, that seems to be the effect we've had today. So thanks everyone for uh, welcoming Diesel to the Tech Tips team. And uh, he's dismissed now. We're going to carry on with our presentation showing you the week's hottest deals. You can leave now. We're just going to keep going. Because Slick's the one who's filming this, so he's not going to be able to edit it together anyway. Diesel's the one responsible for all the improvements you guys have been seeing over the last little while in terms of our editing, as well as in terms of our filming. So. Pretty good stuff. We've got a CyberPower 810 watt UPS for 100, 120 bucks. That's actually really cheap. Yeah, Slick picked all the deals this week, so you might say they're Slick's deals. We've also got the ASIO Levitron Mech 5. We've done an unboxing of this on my unboxing channel. This is a cherry black programmable keyboard with a detachable, again, mechanical key switch number pad that is actually like awesome, and it's only 80 bucks. That's actually a really good deal too. Good work, Slick. Check this out. H40 Plus Corsair AF120 Quiet Edition Fan Pack. Oh, really? It comes with two fans. Two Corsair fans plus a pre-done liquid cooling kit for 60 bucks. Although I would have probably picked the static pressure ones, and I'm not sure what they were doing, but you know, I don't know. Um, it'll work. Trust me, it'll work. Altec Lansing Snugfit in-ear earphones. You know, wow, really? So these are like half price. You know, I gave our Altec PM a hard time. I'm sorry, I'm talking to Slick right now. You guys can listen if you want. I gave our Altec PM a hard time for sort of how, we all, how many Altec deals we had in the sale, but apparently these are good. this is a good deal, right? All right, he says it's ballin'. We also got an XFX Pro 750 single rail 80 plus bronze power supply, and that one's for, oh right, 60 bucks after MIR. I was like, that's not that great of a deal, but if you do cash in the mail and rebate, then you're looking at a pretty sweet deal. The big news this week is iOS 6, and I'll tell you guys one thing, I have not upgraded my iPhone 4, and there's one big reason, and it is this one. Maps. So there's a bunch of new stuff, including, you know, more Surrey, Passbook, uh, phone? There's a message thing. Oh, okay, neat. Right, right. That's a cool feature that's been on Android for like a bajillion years. Um, <laughs> maps. So Google Maps is gone from iOS. Remember, guys, Google Maps was not an app. It was actually built right into the OS, which means, and I'm sorry for that audio pop, Slick's acting like there was a bad one. We got interference in this room. So Google Maps is gone. You can't even download it and install it as a third-party app the way that happened with the YouTube app being removed from the core OS install. So what that means is we've replaced it with Apple Maps. So our tech tip, well, Maps, because you, know, you don't have to call it Apple Maps if it's Maps. Um, 
So for our Tech Tips Live question, we asked people what they think of Apple's new maps. And we've got a couple of our, our top tweets here. So Andrew B says, iOS 5.11 forever, or at least until 6 is jailbreakable. Louis says, in Venezuela, the Apple Maps update has rendered useless the way I use my phone as a GPS. Now I just use Waze to do that. Waze is a pretty cool app, actually. It tries to give you real-time information about traffic, uh, speed traps, all that kind of good stuff. Andrew Butler says, already used it and loved it. Way to go, Apple. Oh, Andrew, I'm disappointed. He tweets at me a fair bit, and I really gave him more credit than that. But uh, OK, it's OK, Andrew. Uh, Mike says, I've used it since the beta months back. It's improved, but still needs a lot of work. Cameron says, meh. And Hunter says, haven't used the app yet, but from what I've seen of it, it's definitely not something to be happy about if you are an iPhone user. And I'd just like to go back and say, Andrew, I'm very disappointed. However, if you guys want me to be disappointed in you, then feel free to follow me on Twitter at Linus Tech. And uh, I do try to reply to most of the messages that I get. And I do give like exclusive news and cool stuff on Twitter. So uh, at Linus Tech, if Diesel's the one editing this, then I'm expecting there to be some kind of a thing down here. And if Slick's doing it, then you guys will just have to Google it. Um, thank you for checking out this week's episode of Netlinked Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.